Hello guys and welcome back after a long time on the channel again back together. So today I'm going to show you something really uh, simple in Framer. I'm going to show you how to uh, basically create uh, a small animation with a video inside into a card. Let's call it like a uh, animated video card. Yeah, let's call it like this. We look like like this, something like this, okay? And so what to say, just let's get started. And here we are in Framer. So let's start to create first thing first, the card itself, right? So the first thing that I want to do is to create a frame here. Let's put the uh, uh, dimensions like 400 by 400 pixels and let's put some radius here like 16 of radius so this is basically our card and inside the card we need obviously oh let's let's put this in black for the moment and uh, let's put inside some text first okay so this is this is the uh, title obviously we don't see anything because it's black on black and maybe for accessibility it could be great to have something that is visible yeah let's do it so new style let's say this is an h3 remember one thing guys that the style h3 which is in my opinion again wrongly uh, named H h3 is nothing related to the tag HTML tag H3, so because the style H3 can be even a, an H1, okay? So it really depends on how you want that the, uh, the browser read your title, but that's that's another story, right? So here, let's say I want uh, Meriwether for the title and I want the color, yeah, that's white. And obviously, um, yeah let's say obviously this is like 24 this is the title okay let's go here fit and fit okay title then we need the content that obviously will not be meriwether so let's say this will be like 16 pixels regular it's okay not meriwether but let's say open sans for example let's say like this uh, and create a new style called the paragraph that's okay and this uh, is the paragraph yeah description okay this is the description and then we can have some other informations like i don't know let's let's think about this like um, distance can be this okay whatever whatever you, you want here to to be right so let's uh, say distance obviously i don't want to use this um uh, this style yeah let's change also this let's put it like 14 pixels or well, let's say 12 pixels i know it's small it's small i know but we can put it like i don't know like medium for example a little bit more visible okay now let's put distance and the description and put an auto layout auto layout or stack whatever you want to call it it's always the same thing gap of eight it's okay and then uh let's take this uh let's call it like subtext something like this yeah it's okay subtext this is the title let's put uh those two together and put another stack let's align everything to the left again fit content and fit content space here the gap i would say 24 yeah like it okay and so this is basically the text that we want to add oh I need also, uh, let's say the price, the price, because this is something like, should be something like um, a sort of card for um, hotel booking things. Yeah, it can be. 
something like this. So field content and uh, let's say field container for the moment. Okay. And so we said we need the price. The price will be always with this, uh, but outside. Okay. So not inside here. Let's put it uh, like this. This is the price. The price will be a little bit bigger. Um, so, so not this. Let's say, um, yeah, 20. Yeah. And this is the price. Like, I don't know. Let's put like 120, 120 euros. Uh, hey, euros. Yes. Per night. So 120 bold eventually, yeah, and per night maybe a little bit smaller, like, yeah, let's put it back to 14. Okay, so this is our text and uh, we have 24 gaps, that's great. So on this, we add here the layout. So let's say this uh, is the content wrapper. Let's call it content wrapper. And on the text, we have to put another wrapper. Let's say another wrapper, wrapper, okay. And let's put the padding here, 32 everywhere. And let's put it on the end. Uh, yes, okay. And this text will be, and that's it. Okay, so we have the text, we have the wrapper that gives our, you know, paddings uh, everywhere and we have our text. Now, what we need is to put actually as a background this video, okay? And so by video, I mean it's really a video, right? So a video, video component here. I'm not taking YouTube, I'm not uh, uh, taking Vimeo because actually for this kind of um, uh, animation that we are going to do, we cannot do it with uh, YouTube or Vimeo for the simple reason that uh, the videos that, you're, uh, that, that are embedded uh, has always this play button, I would say, in the middle and it's, it's uh, pretty annoying. Uh, or at least I didn't find another another way to remove this play and uh, make it um, work like, like I want to. So uh, let's put a video. Okay. So here again, uh, we cannot use a URL, but we have to use upload. And I will choose a file that I already have. Here, basically, I took a video uh, of Vianden, which is one of the best, uh, amazing castle that we have here in Luxembourg. So visit Luxembourg. So here we are. I select this uh, and I say open. Voila, it's uploading my video. Here we are. Okay, so the video obviously should be into the wrapper. So above the wrapper. And here we set a fixed width, a fixed width that should be much larger, I would say, um, compared to the container, right? So let's say like uh, 650. Yeah, let's do it like this. For the height, obviously we can take the same height, which is 400 pixels. So let's put this obviously in the center and uh, move it, yes, here, uh, yeah, of course, this should be absolute, obviously, and so let's say zero here and zero here. So we basically placed in the middle our video. Obviously, the video should be uh, below the text, so the wrapper, let's say, uh, in the style, we add a Z index, and we put two as a thing index so are it's everything above the video so the video it's below everything and obviously for accessibility here we don't see anything and so we add another frame inside here we put it above the proper uh, obviously it should be also this uh, absolute so let's say zero, zero, and zero, so that it takes the entire uh, 
uh, height and width of the of our rectangle and we call it like overlay that's great let's change the fill here with a simple i would say black from black to black again but zero something like this could be great i think uh, maybe this we move it a little bit no that's fine that's fine it's 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 enough i think i think okay and so this is basically our our component so from this card what we are going to do is to create a component let's create a component uh called card and now we are inside the card so now that we are inside the card what we have to do is to create a hover effect Hover effect and what i want to do here is basically just to enlarge a little bit the width of the um, of the uh, of this cards like uh 600 right and something like this right one thing that i have that i want to to do is to have this uh container the text uh that should be fixed i guess it's it's better if we have it fixed so we have it fixed 336 so let's select the uh, uh, wrapper and should be at the beginning. So wrapper here also, let's put it here, start. Okay, another thing that I want to change is actually the video. I want that basically on start, so when it's square, uh, it's uh, not playing. So let's select the video and here, video playing, no. On the variant hover, instead video playing yes what happened here is that when i click a play you see this is a normal card but when i hover over it you see it's playing the video so there is something that is not really working as i, I wish to because as you can see we have sort of flickering and so what i have to do on the video uh, is something here in the position we have to put this in the center okay so let's select basically the video and put it in the center and it should be the same obviously in the hover state so it's in the center and it's really important because uh in this way when we enlarge actually the uh container so the wrapper basically um the the, the wrapper uh act like a mask on the video and so if I play it, as you can see now, is exactly what I wanted, right? So here we are. So is this fixed? So the video is not playing and on the hover now it's playing. That's that's amazing, right? And so uh, basically you can use obviously this component inside your page and you can, I don't know, um, put animation, you can put it into a carousel, etc, etc, etc. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.